Welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to find Garibau in the subterrain. Now I did another video, but I realized I didn't adequately explain all of the pathing options to get to him, so I wanted to make sure that I covered uh, all three possible ways to find Garamal. <clears throat> Garamal is most famously known for dropping the Icy Rayman. It's the only place in the game you can get the Icy Rayman, which is a, a level 14 outfit, which is really nice for monks. But he also has some other items that commonly drop in his chest, too. Um, the, the Dwarven Thrower, which is a nice uh, low-level thrower, and Flame Tongue, Frostbrand, the Mace of Smiting, the Sun Blade's a really nice low-level undead beater. Uh, Tyrus Splendor is a rune arm only available from the Garamal chest, and the Luck Blade, which is really nice. Um, it's a low-level short sword that has three slots on it. I believe it's the only heroic level item that has three slots on it. So you can start off uh, you feather falling down to the right, come over to this door, it doesn't unlock until you kill those two skellies that were just there. Now I'll show you some other things about navigating around in the subterrain you may not be aware of. Anytime you see light shining through the floor or the walls or the ceiling like this, you want to try to avoid it because it does an area of effect debuff, which is not only going to debuff you but any party members around you. And any kind of lights, like the lights you see ahead or runes that are floating, you want to uh, not walk through those for the same reason. So what we're looking for to find Garamel are these floating runes like you see in front of me right now. Now at this first set, you're always going to go left, regardless of the positioning of any particular room. We're always going to go left here. If we were to go right, that would be like you were going to Vision of Destruction or Hound of Zoriat, right? But we're going to go left here, always left at this one. The subterrain uh, can be very confusing for new players. Oh, uh, you also want to stay away from blue. Uh, purple light like this one here um, and it's, it's understandably con confusing <laughs> but it's a fun area to poke around in in fact there's one section called the deep tunnels that few people in this game have ever been in because it's not on the way to any raid um, there's real no, really no benefit to going back there other than just exploring it. There's no named loot. There are some rares, though, um, and some of them are actually pretty cool. There's w one where you swim through a lake of acid and go through like an under, under, or submerged cave, and you emerge, and there's a whole council of beholders on the other side, a whole room full of beholders, and there's a possible uh, rare beholder there. And then there's the Frost Fiend of Madness in that section, as well as uh, a rare called the Son of Zizi, which is, you know, reference to Zizi, the boss in the Hound of Zoria raid. So now we come to this intersection, you can see these floating runes here. This is what we're looking for. And what we're particularly interested in is the location of this backwards G looking symbol that you see here it would be either on the left or on the right and you always want to follow that symbol starting from here. When we got to that first set it was always left but after that you're going to follow the, the backwards G. In this case it tells us to go to the right. So we go this way and this is the quickest uh, path to Garamel. So we got lucky this time but I'm going to show you both of the other options. Mm -hmm. 
and you'll know that you got the correct portal if it's green and blue. If you didn't have the right portal, it would just spawn trash mobs. So we'll come back and fight Garamel in a couple of minutes. So if the G had been on the left here, then we would go left. It doesn't matter matter whether you go up the ramp or down below. It's just going to go to the same place. It's going to meet up right around the corner. So maybe behold her right beyond this door. If the previous set of runes had told us to come this way, this would be the next set of runes that we would be interested in. And there are going to be two options now. If there was a G-shaped symbol right about here, on the right side of the, of the ring, then we would go down here. If there's not one at all, not one on the outside, then we would go straight. And even these runes just going to show you what you don't want to go through those because they do the, the area of effect too. And left would never be an option here for Gar for Garamal. There is a portal down there, but I'm going to show you the third option in case it was straight. So here we're always going to go right. And then this is the next set of runes that we care about. And here, it would always be right. If you'd gotten this far, the G-shaped symbol would always be right here on the right side of the runes, and we would go to the right. You got a shrine here as well. This is not the correct pathway this time. It was that first one we checked. We're just going to show you, if you hit the rune to open the portal, it would just be a bunch of trash. Anytime you see any kind of runes, whether they're floating in the air, or they're on the ground, or they're on the wall, you want to avoid them, because they're all going to do the AoE debuff.
step through to go into Garamel's lair, I'm going to show you something that not a lot of people know, and that is that as you're falling, there's going to be traps that, that shoot out different elements, flames, lightning, acid. But if you go through these runes, this circle of runes, it's actually a safe spot. Now most people are just going to take their feather fall off and shoot straight to the bottom, and that's fine. You know, if you get the hit points, it's quick and easy. But if you're worried about the traps for some reason, you can go through these runes and you won't get hit. And there's Caramel. Now, another thing that a lot of people will tell you, even people who have been playing this game a long time, is they will swear up and down that if you jump while you're down here, that you will get tossed into the air. That was just a coincidence. <laughs> and I'm going to show you. You can jump up and down all day long, and it has nothing to do... Getting tossed in the air, the anti-gravity effect, has nothing to do with the jumping. And has it is just totally random. It doesn't matter whether you're on the gold, or whether you're on the stairs, or wherever you are. It doesn't matter. It's just totally random. But sometimes it happens, like when you jump, and that's just a coincidence. Like that first time I did it, it was a coincidence, so it looked like jumping caused it. But it is not jumping that causes it. Now, it's easiest to just take your feather fall off if you can survive the traps because it just takes a while to feather fall down. You can see it, like I haven't jumped any you know, any times other than that first time that I got thrown up. It's just totally random. And I know that because you know, I've soloed this countless times. And Garamel has one of the largest treasure piles in the game. There's nothing here but gold. You might get like a first level bond or something. Collectible. But nothing terribly exciting. And you can even get tossed up after he's dead. And again, nothing to do with whether or not you jumped. And you get a couple chests out of it. Hey, I got a luck blade. So there it is level 8, plus 2, and has good luck, has a red, orange, and purple slot. That is a phenomenal weapon. It is highly customizable. If even for a spellcaster, you can slot that up with uh, two different kinds of... actually three different kinds of spell power. Uh, pretty cool. And from this point, you can just recall out, or you can hit this rune here and open up this portal. And this portal takes you back to the first big room when you first step into the subterrain, where you jump out and you feather fall down to the right. Well, this, you know, if you were to fall straight down instead of feather falling down to the right, you would appear here amongst all these living spells. And you can just take ramps to get back up there. There's um, actually a shrine up there. But it's just a bunch of living spells. And these would be more examples of runes to avoid. Because they're just going to do the debuff. Hey, thanks for watching, and good luck farming your icy raiment, or whatever it is that you're trying to get from the Garamal chest.